Hello Cosmos community, my name is Chris. In this video, we'll be discussing why protocol staking, some key staking facts to keep in mind when protocol staking on Agoric, and how to protocol stake Agoric's BLD token using the native self-custody wallet, Kepler. If you would like to learn more about Agoric or protocol staking, I've linked videos in the description below. You can also find chapters to help you jump around the video as needed, along with links to everything covered in this video. So why protocol stake on Agoric? Well, initially, BLD is being staked to earn new token issuances, meaning the supply of BLD will increase and stakers will capture these newly issued tokens. Not staking on inflationary chains like Agoric could lead to principal erosion. At the same time, staking is dollar cost averaging every day for free. On top of new token issuances, BLD stakers will capture fees from network transactions, and as Agoric transaction volume increases, so will the rewards for staking BLD. Staking BLD gives you ownership of the Agoric network, making BLD stakers entitled to setting and changing the rules of the Agoric protocol, along with deciding how to distribute the treasury funds. This is all done through governance, and the amount of BLD you have staked is your voting power. There is tremendous value in having ownership of and a voice in the direction of a protocol. Now that we know why to protocol stake, let's take a look at some key staking facts to keep in mind when delegating your BLD to a validator. BLD is locked while staked and takes 21 days to become liquid again once unbonded. You do not earn rewards during this unbonding period. There is a 5% slashing for misbehaving validators who double sign with a 0.01 slashing penalty for downtime. Delegated assets are at risk of slashing, so it's always a good idea to make sure you pick your validator wisely. For these reasons, I personally delegate to Figment validators. Rewards are distributed every block, which is about every 10 seconds, and need to be restaked to compound. And current inflation is 5%. Now that we've covered the key staking facts on what to know before delegating, we can look at how to get Agoric's BLD token and how to stake it on Agoric using the native self-custody wallet, Kepler. Our first step is to go ahead and go to app.osmosis.zone. For this video, we will assume you already have a Kepler wallet set up. However, if you need to learn how to set one up, you can come over to our How to Stake Atom on Cosmos with Kepler video. I'll link it down in the description. And if we open up the chapters and we scroll down, we'll see Kepler setup. So this will go through the whole Kepler setup. And if you're like me and you can't get Agoric on any exchange or get any BLD token, you can send over some Atom and swap it on Osmosis. And we'll go over the swapping process. But that's all covered here on this video if you would like to check that out. Now, once you have your Kepler wallet set up, we'll go back to app.osmosis.zone and click connect our wallet. Once our wallet's connected, we'll go to the swap tab. And it should be like the first one that opens up. And on the bottom, we will click BLD. So here's uh, just type in BLD. It should pop up there. You don't have to scroll all the way through the list. So we want some BLD. And I have some Evmos that is liquid that's not being staked right now. So let's go ahead and trade two Evmos for some BLD tokens. And we're going to go ahead and swap. That will pull up your Kepler extension. We will go ahead and click on however much Osmo we'd like to pay in gas and approve. Transactions broadcasting. And there we go. So there our available balance has changed. And now if we open up our Kepler wallet, we'll see nothing in there because we have to IBC transfer out of Osmosis Zone. So we will come back into our assets on the assets tab and we'll scroll down to our BLD right here. And we're gonna go withdraw. We will approve this connection, this IBC relay connection, and we'll go with max amount that we can withdraw and click withdraw. We'll go with the slower free transaction. If you would like it to go faster, I'll kind of show that. We'll go average and it should go through pretty fast. And there it is, transaction successful. The IBC transfer is complete. 
Now we open up our wallet, it's right there. Now the last step is to go ahead and click stake. And we can see here that the current reward rate is 12.83% for protocol staking BLD tokens on Agoric. So we'll click stake. That'll open up our Kepler dashboard under Agoric. So the next step, now that we have BLD tokens and we're in our Kepler dashboard, is to scroll down and pick a validator to stake with. Now, if we remember what I was talking about earlier, there is slashing for downtime and double signing. So you really wanna make sure that the validator you choose is invested in the space. For these reasons, I choose Figment validators. So if you don't see Figment on the list, we can type in Figment and we'll see it right there. We can go ahead and click manage and we can go delegate, click the amount we would like to delegate. Now, remember, you always want to keep a little bit left over to handle claiming rewards and restaking. So we're just going to go with 8.5. That should leave us plenty. And then we'll click delegate. Now, we do want to remember that staking will lock your funds for 21 days. So I'm cool with that. We'll click delegate. We will approve the transaction. Congratulations. You've successfully staked BLD tokens on Agoric. How easy was that? Give it a little refresh. Now that it's populated, we can click on manage and we'll have all the options. So we can see our delegation to our Figment validator is here. If we want to undelegate, that would be that button and that would put it into the 21 day unbonding period and you wouldn't get any rewards during that time. And then it would become liquid after the 21 days and you could do whatever you wanted with it at that point. Or, we can skip, say you're unhappy with a validator. We can skip that 21 day unbonding period and just redelegate straight from one validator to another validator. So say you were delegated to polkchu.com or Doki Capital, you could redelegate to the Figma validator if you like. Or we can delegate more to the Figma validator by clicking delegate. And say we claimed rewards. Oh, look at that. We already have some rewards coming in. Because like I said, every 10 seconds, every block, it pays out rewards. So if you want to compound, but you don't want to compound like every 10 seconds or just have to come back and manually do it, there are things like AuthZ and Restake that will allow you to set up an auto compounding for your stake, which is really cool. So you can go check that out. I'll put some links in the description to that. And in case you missed it, be sure to check out our other videos in the What That series. These videos include a breakdown of Web3, staking, ETH2, and custody. You can find links to these videos and more in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on all things Figment. At Figment, we're on a journey to create a truly decentralized internet where users can freely interact, share, collaborate, and exchange goods and services in a trustless environment. At Figment, it is important for us to encourage staking and protocol participation. For blockchains to work, you must be able to control how your data, finances, and privacy are used. This can only be achieved using a proof of stake protocol and your participation counts no matter the amount. Staking and governance is the only way to avoid centralization. To help deliver this vision, we offer staking, middleware, and application layer solutions for token holders and developers investing in and building on Web3 technologies. We're on a journey to build a better internet, keeping privacy, data ownership, transparency, and censorship resistance top of mind. If you're interested in learning more about Figment or our services, you can find all the relevant links in the description below or at figment.io. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video valuable, make sure to share it with a friend. As always, if you have any questions about staking or how Figment simplifies blockchain for you or your organization, you can join Staking Hub with the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you there, and until next time, happy staking.